Hey, what's up YouTube users? I'm going to show you how to make a kind of a, a cool effect in Photoshop that you could use in later in life. This is the, the final product. It was requested by one of my friends to make this tutorial, so you know who you are. Alright, we're going to do File, New, we're going to create a new document, and we're going to make it 300 by 200. That's the game battles default or the main all right I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger all right I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab the uh, gradient tool and I'm gonna grab a nice kind of a I think this is already a good gradient that I already have just a dark dark to light gradient yeah I'm gonna need a a little bit lighter make a nice difference in the gradient alright that looks good maybe up to, uh, don't want a ruler alright now we have a nice gradient in the background now you could see the the town or skyline, if you will. That was actually drawn in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm for this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, Chicago, which is my hometown. So I already have this drawn. I can put this in the description if you guys want. <clears throat> so I'm going to save this as a. Um, I'll just save it as an EPS, which is a vector path. Chicago, and we're gonna save that to. We're gonna the file open. We're gonna open up the EPS. And I'm going to place it into the document. Now I'm gonna do Control T, or you could go to Edit Free Transform, and I'm just gonna downsize it so it fits the document. Alright, now it's kind of a, it's in CMYK, which is the default for Illustrator, so I'm just going to do a color overlay, and it'll kind of make it an RGB color, and I'll just make it black. Alright, that's good. Now for the, I'll go back to the back side of here. Alright, now you can see the kind of the rays effect now there's a couple ways to do that there's one where you could filter and you could do uh, polar coordinates which is what I recommend but for this tutorial I'm gonna do an I'm just gonna do it the easy way which is basically I have a brush that that does that for me that has presets here so I'm just gonna find a nice brush that will do fine. Alright. So we're gonna make a nice kind of alright, I'm going to change the the color to a lighter blue. That looks about right. And now I'm going to do a, a mask on it and do a gradient so it fades out, as you can see in the other one. And I'll just do it to the default and play with the gradient a little bit. It fades. Just to give it a little bit more effect. Alright, now, if, I don't know if you guys noticed from here, you could see kind of a, it's a little brighter, which is a color, which basically is a an outer glow on the city so I'm just gonna double click on there outer glow make a nice light blue stands out 
Give it a little bit more. That's good. Alright, now the text. I just use a normal font. I don't know exactly what font I could tell you. Yeah, Bank Gothic. I'm just going to copy the layer style so I can get exact for you guys. And basically, yeah. Transform, make the size bigger. I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate it. That way I don't have to make another text box. And just do. Alright. And now I'm going to paste that layer style. And then I'll show you guys the layer style so you guys can get the effect. I have a gradient overlay, which is. I'll give you, the, you guys the colors. It's kind of it's a dark blue into a light blue. And I have a stroke on it to give it kind of a little like more shown. It's just normal light blue, a little bit to give it a little effect. Drop shadow just to give it a little more depth into it. And then I just used normal text and did my little genre stream on there. You don't really need that. It was just a watermark. And basically, you have your own logo effect with the light rays.